what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A toxicology report from Princess Autopsy obtained on Monday by the Associated Press shows he had what multiple experts called an exceedingly high concentration of fentanyl in his body when he died. Prince was 57 years old when he was found alone and unresponsive in an elevator at his Paisley Park estate on April 21, 2016. Public data released six weeks after his death show that he died of an accidental overdose of fentanyl, a synthetic opiate 50 times more powerful than heroin. According to authorities, a confidential toxicology report obtained by the AP provides some insight into how much fentanyl was in Prince's system. Experts who are not connected to the case says that it was no doubt the numbers indicate that Fentanyl is what killed Prince. I'm not buying it. Not buying it for one second. Prince was one of the healthiest people I knew. The dude was a health nut. The dude, he just not was not into illicit drugs and all that crazy stuff. The dude was serious about, he was very serious about his health. That's why when, when it happened, when they reported out, like, Prince, hell no. Like, it just didn't make sense. Something is up. Let's go back to April 2016, the month that Prince died. Okay. April 7th, he's supposed to play the Fox Theater in Atlanta. Two shows. But promoters canceled the show, citing Prince fighting the flu. A few days later... Prince makes up for the shows. And then a few days after that, he plays at home, Paisley Park, at his estate. He has a party. He invites people in the industry, friends, to come party with him. People that was at that party were saying that Prince was in good spirits. He gave an energetic performance, which he always does. And he just didn't seem like to be a man who was knocking at death's door. Next thing we know, Prince dead. Now, there was a situation where he had to make an emergency landing uh, for the Atlanta show. He had to make an emergency landing because... They said that, uh, you know, he was unresponsive. And so he goes to the hospital. He checks in. But he decides not to stay because they don't have a private room. He stays there three hours and then he heads back home. Now, I'm just not buying it, y'all. I'm not buying it. You can't trust the media. Y'all know how the media get down. They've been rocking this way for a long time. The media is propaganda puppets for the government. And all things dirty. So they know how to spin a story. So you got to be very, very careful when you're getting your information from mainstream media in particular. Prince they say died of fentanyl overdose. So he was addicted to opiates. And they want to pick this, they want to put the spin on it about him having the flu. Man, celebrities don't die of the damn flu. That's the lie. Anytime you hear somebody say something about a celebrity, you know, dying of some type of flu complications, man, you better be very, very suspicious. So this guy, his doctor, I didn't catch his name, but the doctor who supposedly prescribed these medicines that 
Prince was taken and he was prescribing him under alias names. Now this guy, they're saying now that he's on the hook for prosecution. I doubt if that happens, but this is a big case, just like with the Michael Jackson case, you gotta blame somebody. Somebody gotta be the fall guy. Somebody gotta take it. I suspect that if they did take him down, somebody gonna get paid. Like, maybe he'll have to go sit down for a year, but he'll get paid. Like, look at man, we need to go sit down for a minute. We're gonna take care of everything, uh, but we gotta, we gotta throw this scent off. I'm just saying, look, man, y'all know I'm I'm really, really not. The furthest thing that I am is a conspiracy theorist. But I'm going to tell you, this just don't smell right. This is very, very similar to Michael Jackson's situation. Michael Jackson bought half of Sony Publishing. He owned it, flat out. Then... He ends up dead. Prince finally, after years, gets ownership of his catalog. And then all of a sudden, a healthy man, an otherwise healthy man, who's never had a problem with drugs, have never had issues with being on drugs and an alcoholic, none of that kind of stuff. All of a sudden, he's dead. And we're supposed to believe that? Yeah, right. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.